Hey everyone, Scalacia here, and today I'll be playing a 1993 classic PC game called Blakestone Aliens of Gold. This game is a good old fashioned first person shooter game with retro pixel visual effects and retro music with amazing old retro classic game sound effects. Please like and subscribe to see my new videos or watch my other videos. Thank you, and let's get started with this awesome retro game. This game is not shareware. Please do not distribute it. It is not meant to be on any VBS or in any shareware library. If you find it there, please remove it at once or notify the people in charge. Please help us reduce software privacy. Oh, sorry, privacy. Thanks, Apogee. I think it's Apogee. The height of gaming excitement. Oh, I love the retro sounds. I love everything is all pixely, including the titles. Rated PC-13, I basically what that says. Blakestone, Aliens of Gold. Created in 1993, gosh, that's been that long. It's crazy. I've been playing this since I was a child. It's been a long time right now, but I grew up with this game practically. We're going to do mission. And then we are going to do Star Institute, mission one. Difficulty level, novice agent, skilled agent, expert agent, veteran agent. I have never played veteran agent. I've always played skilled agent. And I have no idea why he's sweating when he on a novice agent. Like, novice agent should be easy unless it's like the hardest one. But I'll do skilled. I always do skilled. Mission one: Access in current location. Star Institution uh, Institute. General Operations. Agent Stone. This page. Oh, there's more. Agent Stone. Reports confirm that Goldfire, that's the bad guy's name, pretty cool name, is aware of your arrival. My sensors indicate moving towards the ninth floor shuttle bay. Sir, I can only extrapolate from past behavior to determine Goldfire's current intent. Assessment. Dr. Goldfire plans to flee the Institute. He realizes, or, yeah, realizes you are a threat to his plan and perceives an increased measure of personal safety on the floating fortress. That sounds neat. Control of greater destructive capabilities is a certainty as well. Objectives? Proceed to, to floor nine, kill the spider mutant guardian alien. Ooh, that sounds, that sounds terrifying. I've never actually been that far. Of the Star Institute and take the shuttle to the next link to Goldfire um, in Goldfire's operation, the Floating Fortress. You will receive additional instructions when you arrive at the Fortress Complex. Mm -hmm. Amount tokens can be obtained from these individuals. If I may offer an opinion, think before you shoo. Yes, sir. <laughs> I like how I didn't finish it. Okay. All right. Good old-fashioned gameplay. So the whole objective is to go to, to the ninth floor. Right now we're on floor one. We have three lives. And the bottom right corner, you will see access cards. We need the red access card to get the elevator operating. Your gun is obviously the next thing on the, towards the left. The next left is your HP, practically 100% right now. And then the bottom left corner, you'll see your messages. Basically, I'll tell you everything that's going on and what you're doing. So, you don't get to use your mouse in this game because it's old. So, you get to use your up, down, left, right keys and control as shooting. We're gonna shoot this guy in the demonstration. Woohoo! And that's your pixely blood right there. As a kid, I thought it was like, oh, I, okay, I was so innocent, okay? So, don't, do not mock me. <laughs> I thought that was like, like juice coming out. I didn't even think it was blood at the time. I just, saw red stuff and I was like, oh, maybe they painted it weird. Oh no, I was innocent, like I said, be quiet. Secret right here. I practically remember all the secret areas. Oh my gosh, I heard a evil scientist too, as well as a guard. Where are they coming from? Where are they? Oh, there he is. And there's the bad guy. I don't want to shoot my informant. I think that's my informant. Okay, so you have good scientists and you have bad scientists. Obviously, that dead guy right there was a bad scientist. 
Oh. And if they if they die by the door or between in the door, that door won't close now. Yeah, it's I basically jam the door. So the good scientists give you tokens. They give you um. They give you um. um what's that word? Ammo. <laughs> Sorry, I'm chewing gum while I'm playing this to keep my nerves going. Um, because everything's so pixely. Um, and they, yeah, so, and they give you information if you need it. Be careful, Stone Gold Fire watches everyone. Like I said, everything you want to see is on the bottom left corner. Oh, yeah, I remember those guys. I know there's a secret right here. I let them out, too. I remember, as a kid, I would let all the monsters out. Whoa. Whoa. <laughs> and, uh, I'm gonna steal one of his meats, I guess, to get HP. Yuck. I used to let all the monsters out of their cages and have them chase me around the complex for fun. <laughs> oh, it was kind of funny. Okay, I need to go in here. Are you a bad guy? You're not a bad guy, because obviously you would have heard me. There's a token, so the tokens are used for these vending machines to gain back your HP. Some of them won't be operational, so careful. You also find candy on the floor. And like I did just then too was meat. Yeah, you don't want to try try not to kill bad guys between the doors, because the doors will not close. <laughs> and you kind of want the doors closed when you're trying to run away and stuff. Alright, let's see. Hmm, let's go on this from... Alright. Remember, we don't want to kill the informants. And because some of the good scientists are your informants. And you kind of want them to stay alive because they give you information. That's why they're called informants. Okay, these, that's a good guy. Alright, so these guys are both good guys. So they get to live. You also get more points too if you, live all, if you let all the civilians live. Don't kill your informants. <laughs> Try not to kill. I know it's hard because the, like these guys will run up behind him. All right, we're gonna go through this door. Oh, there's two monsters there. So you can either shoot. You can either stand here and shoot them. As you notice, there is no crosshairs. You kind of just have to aim the gun in the middle of the screen <laughs> to get them shot. But I like to do this, and I just watch for the points. Did I get one of them? Okay, I gotta get the other. I just keep doing this until I see the score go up. There you go! Alright, and then over here is gonna be the zappy zap spark circle thing. Got it. And then... So I don't know if that's human remains that they're feeding the monsters. It looks like a human. It looks like an eyeball with brown hair, but I don't know. It's too pixely to tell. It could just be this bloody meat, but I don't know. I feel like it's a person. But maybe that's just me. Okay, I don't want to go in here just yet. I need a gun. And I have a special gun in a secret hiding place I'm going to get. And it's in here. Alright, this is the hard part. So... If you come into this secret area, there's going to be two military guys. They have AK-47s. If you kill one of them, you get the AK-47, which is why I'm intending to do. I'm hoping I don't die, because these guys do hurt. This is the only gun I have, and it's only like it's only like a third-rate gun in this whole game. So it's basically a pistol. <laughs> Doesn't do a whole lot of damage. All right. All right. Wish me luck. Here we go. Oh gosh, 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 gosh! Oh gosh, gosh, gosh! <laughs> die, 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 die! Okay, so he's playing dead. He's pretending. So I need to get this and then wait for him to come back up, and so I can kill him because otherwise he's gonna chase me all over the place. And with an AK-47 in his hand, that would be bad. I knew you were faking the whole time. I remember you guys. You guys were a pain when I was a kid. Alright, some more secrets in here. Gold bars and money bags. <laughs> Sound effects are great. Golden bars. Okay, here's a really big nice gun. This thing shoots, um... 
I don't know what the heck it is. Like some kind of explosive fireballs. I have no idea. Maybe, maybe grenade? I have no idea. I just call them explosive fireballs. And they're good for taking down the bigger guys like robots and monsters. And they're one-shot kills. Every ammo you see on the ground is for every gun. So don't worry about trying to find specific ammo. They're basically for the same thing. Okay, there's another secret over here. Oh, just more ammo. Oh. I forgot that was another kind of kind of a weird exit, but Okay, so I want to go in here and take this shortcut More gold bars Oh, yeah, those are the um... oh crap I did not see that guy in my face Oh yeah, those, those are the Frankenstein monster guys. Medic! They do have guns too, so I'm going to, um, they're in here, they're trapped. I'm going to let them out and shoot them with that thing. I think I got them both. Yes, I did. Ha ha. I got both of them. Yeah, this gun is nice to have for bigger dudes like these guys. You. Yuck. They're like space hulks. <laughs> hulks in space. Okay, I know there's another, I think there's a secret here somewhere. So to do the secrets, you just basically push the up button and the space bar at the same time. Space bar is your action bar, basically. Your action button, okay. I guess that was the secret I just came out of, okay. All right, I'm gonna use my AK-47 and everything now. There's a monster in here too. Yep, there he is. Oh, I just heard uh, a blue, a blue-suited guy and a scientist. But where are they? They can't be in here because everything in here is dead. Okay, they gotta be. There they are. Got ya! Okay. Okay, I gotta come in here next. That's later. I'm missing something. I feel like I'm- okay, it's in here. That's what I'm missing. Okay. I haven't been in this room yet. All right, I gotta be careful here. Oh, there's the alien guys. Plasma aliens. Oh gosh, oh gosh. <laughs> I'm stuck. <laughs> Stupid doors. Oh gosh, they move fast. I didn't. Oh, and there's an evil scientist. I know there's another alien plasma thingy over here. Where is it? Oh, there it is. Just gonna run in towards its, <laughs> its its attack. Okay, there's a robot over here too. No, you die, robot. <laughs> oh, classic sound effects. You know, I I do love modern time games, but the classics, man, they were harder, they were funner, they were longer. Ah. Uh, I love them. I love them as a kid too. I'm so thankful to have grown up in that era where games were still like cool. <laughs> I think that's all the secrets. Yep. All right. Going back to my K47 here. So your number pad obviously is your weapons. One, two, three. I don't have four yet, and five. I'm gonna go back to my three. Three gun. All right, now we can go to that room. I was gonna say we're gonna go later. That's the last area we haven't checked. Ah. 
Oh. Different room style. Are you a good guy or a bad guy? Guard! Nope, you're a bad guy. You're a bad guy. Why <laughs> can't I shoot? <laughs> I was pushing the wrong button. I don't know what my finger was pushing, but it was definitely not the right key. Any secrets in here? Oh, these blood stains all over the place. Yeah, definitely a bloody game. I was surprised I actually got to play this. Ooh, look at all those bad guys. It's a good thing I have this AK-47. It makes this game so much easier. Okay, you're not a bad guy, otherwise you'd attack me. You're a bad guy, though! Oh, and a robot on top of that. Okay. Where'd you go? Where'd you go? Where'd you go? Where'd you go? There you are. Oh, there's another one. Yay! All the enemies are gone! 50,000 point bonus. Woohoo! Alright, so all my informants are alive. That gives me extra points, and all the enemies are dead. Which gives me extra points and two tokens. I think this place had a secret too. I can't remember. I can't remember. I think it was on the blood splats. I think I'm full on tokens. Mm -hmm. I should play this game on very hard because I this was like easy that I remember, but I'm also obviously older and have more experience. Oh, see that that did not have a body in it. I was expecting to find more meat in that one, but nope. Alrighty, well here's our red key card that we're looking for for the elevator for the next floor, so we will take that. And uh, I think I already talked to this guy. Yeah. Thank you for the information. <laughs> Do, 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 do. We, you can also turn the music off if you think it's repetitive. I prefer to keep the music on only because it's nice background sound. You don't want to hear what's behind me or anything like that, what's going on in my room as I'm talking. So I just keep the music on just for background noise. Plus the pushing of the key probably died the nuts too. Where's the elevator at? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I know it's over here somewhere. I think it's on the side of that. That uh, stiff move. <laughs> oh, that's right. It's, it's over here. Okay, found it. All right. So here's the elevator, and it's gonna tell us what our score is. Hundred percent on informants alive. Hundred percent on an enemy destroyed. Floor rating ninety four percent, ninety five percent. That's actually pretty good. I don't know how to get a hundred percent on total points. So I I feel like I pretty much got everything. But yeah, pretty good. Anyway, I will be be playing the um, second floor next uh, sometime. So if you like this, like and subscribe and watch my other videos. And thanks so much for watching. And I'll see you guys soon. Bye bye.